The family of this Covington woman says they don't know where their mother is after she left a Hateville bar Saturday night. Channel 2's Ashley Lincoln live now after speaking with the family of 53 year old Yolanda Brown and Ashley, you got your hands on exclusive surveillance video and it shows the woman leaving that bar. Yeah, George, we found out this afternoon that it was actually video recorded from this surveillance camera on the side of this building showing those moments when Yolanda Brown walked out of this bar. Tonight, her family is hoping that this video will provide clues as to what happened after she left this parking lot. It's the last image Joshua Daughtry says he has of his mother. There is a suspect, I believe, that somebody who followed her home. An exclusive surveillance video I got my hands on. It shows the moments 53-year-old Yolanda Brown left this bar near Virginia Avenue in Hapeville. She driving the 2020 Impala. And, and we ain't seen the car, we can't find the car. Tuesday afternoon, her family held a news conference. My sister is not just my sister, she's a mother. She's a grandmother. Brown's family says the video shows Brown leaving a bar with a friend and an associate. She chats with the male counterpart dressed in blue for at least two hours before the man is seen following her out of the parking lot around 4 a.m. She always wants to be someone's friend. And I am 100% convinced that her friend making is what delay a term being missing right now. Her son say after going through her phone records, they were able to contact the man in the SUV. He allegedly told Brown's son he was following Brown back to her Covington home, but lost sight of her while traveling. He said he lost her on the expressway. Now, I don't really believe none of that, but we know that her phone has been pinging off of some towers out in Covington and Newton County. Brown's family says she would involuntarily disappear. It's never like my mama to cut her phone off. She got medicine she takes every day. She got lupus. Hapeville police returned to the bar Tuesday afternoon to review that surveillance video. We don't want her to be like all the hundreds of other missing people in the country who never see their families again. Wow, hearing hearing that voice and, and all that that suffering that family's going through, Ashley. Hateville police at this point say they're not the lead investigators on this. So did you find out who is? Yeah, George, we found out this afternoon, Newton County Sheriff's Office, they tell us that they are investigating alongside the GBI. Again, we want to provide detail on that vehicle that she was driving when she left this parking lot. The family says it's a black Chevy Impala with the Georgia tag CUQ 6437. Again, George, anyone with information urged to contact authorities. And Ashley, let's hope after hearing your report, they do. Thank you.